Hey guys, today we are talking NVIDIA. They just had a blowout quarter, made a video all about it yesterday. Today, I'm bringing you a red flag that I noticed in the numbers that we definitely 100% should not ignore. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, let's just really quickly take an overlook of NVIDIA's earnings report that came out just a few days ago. Strong earnings report, but looking through it, we noticed something. So NVIDIA posted robust earnings reflecting strong performance. The company exceeded Wall Street expectations, but by a smaller margin than usual. We'll talk about that more in a minute. NVIDIA stock experienced a pullback in after hours trading post earnings. And that pullback really to me suggests investor, investors may be concerned despite strong numbers. I'm not too strong. I'm not too concerned about the pullback. I'm not even sure if the pullback was for the red flag that I'm going to bring to you today, but it's definitely something to think about. All right, let's look at those financial highlights. Their revenue increased, guys, by 120 122% year over year to $30 billion. Sequential revenue growth was 15% surpassing estimates of $28.7 billion, and they had a lot of earnings growth. Their adjusted earnings per share rose 152% year over year to 68 cents. And this figure represents an 11% guys sequential increase, slightly above the 64 cent consensus. And just for historical content, in context, the latest earnings beat was the narrowest since the generative AI boom began. All right, now, what is driving NVIDIA's success right now? All of this is important for us to understand where we're going and for us to be able to quantify this red flag that I'm gonna to bring to you. So, few key drivers for NVIDIA's success. First of all, cloud infrastructure demand, the soaring demand for this cloud infrastructure companies accounted for 45% of NVIDIA's revenue. They've also, uh, their accelerated computing, generative AI, they continued to ramp up in these areas, which further bolstered NVIDIA's performance, and they have positive guidance, optimistic guidance for Q3, forecasting revenue of $32.5 billion, up 79% year over year. But here's the flaw, guys. Here's the red flag in all of this, and that is a decline in gross margins. Invi let me let me explain what I mean. Nvidia's gross margin, a crucial metric for hardware companies, fell to 75.1% gap in Q2 from over 78% in Q1. Now, that's still an amazing number, but it's the direction I'm concerned about. Here's the reason for the market uh, the margin decline. A higher mix of new products in the data center segment and inventory write-offs that are related to the Blackwell launch. Here's the implications. The margin decline signals a potential ceiling in gross margin expansion. And this raises a new risk for NVIDIA as declining margins could impact profitability. So what does the future look like? Q3, full year projection. NVIDIA expects gross margins to decline slightly in Q3 to 74.4 to 75%. The company is targeting mid 70s range gross margins for the full year, indicating possible further weakness in Q4. Now, why does this even matter? Because it's an indicator of profitability. Gross margin is the key determinant, guys, of profitability in the semiconductor industry. And it reflects NVIDIA's pricing power and their operational efficiency. Just compare this to, just look at their peers. NVIDIA's gross margin significantly outpaces those of competitors, underscoring its competitive advantage in AI. But here's the potential risk. If competition, particularly from AMD, which by the way, another great company, another one of my companies that I've bought into, as that competition with companies like AMD intensifies, it could erode Nvidia's gross margins, signaling potential challenges ahead. So, what does this mean for all of us as investors? Well, despite the margin decline, Nvidia's overall growth remains strong both on the top 
and bottom lines. The upcoming Blackwell platform launch in Q4 is anticipated to drive further demand. But investors, definitely guys, you should keep a close eye on NVIDIA's gross margins in future quarters. Persistent declines could indicate deeper issues in the business potentially affect long-term profitability. I don't think it's a major concern right now, but it's 100% the biggest concern in my book when looking through all these results from the last quarter. Anyway, guys, so what am I going to do with NVIDIA? I'm going to hold my NVIDIA shares. I absolutely love the company. I expect that they will, they have a long way to go. I think that um, I, I think share price, everything will increase. It's I just think it will. I think the AI revolution is here to stay. But anyway, guys, I want to know what you think. So leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on NVIDIA, AI, chips, everything, guys. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, guys, because every single week I'm posting a video telling why I'm buying a certain stock. And then I've got a ton of other videos just like this that are just giving you all the details, information that you need to know so that you are on top of your investments. All right, guys, y'all take it easy. Have a good day, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.